For those who have found themselves here in this moment, a brief explanation is necessary as to the purpose of this presentation. This is not meant to be a work in the manner of previous published works, but is being brought forward as a public forum to expound upon the things that have been already talked about and to have the listener contribute anything that they may feel is of assistance to those searching for this elusive thing which one might be so inclined to define as truth. That is what an open forum is, and what will be presented are certain central ideas and questions that will serve as the basis or foundation from which this forum is intended to go into. The only thing that is requested is that the spirit of any discussion is done from that place which this reality has sought to keep mankind away from the heart. Being disrespectful, profane, or intentionally offensive does not serve anyone, and it is declared right now that any who act in such an insolent manner will simply be removed from the forum. There is always room for disagreement, and in fact all conversation that pushes one into new territory requires counterpoint, contrast, and differentiation. This can always be done from a place of respect though. The foundation and intention of all previous and future works has always come from two sources, that which could be called love, and that which could be called freedom. As always, when it comes to these qualities, everything that is given is given freely with the best of intentions, for your growth is my growth, and there is no separation between us. Ignorance is simply a gap that can be closed by the bridges of knowledge and enlightenment, and those who freely participate in the building of these bridges is honored by all of creation. In the darkest times, one must create their own light and fixate their internal guide upon the levity of the spirit. The paradox of this is that we help each other to help ourselves. Here are the primary questions of this particular forum that the listener is being tasked to contemplate and share their views on. Is evil necessary? Is there such a thing as necessary evil? Can there be existence without contrast? Light, dark, up, down, right, wrong, and so on. Religions such as Manichaeism brought forth the concept that everything is dualistic. Is there merit in this supposition? If so, is there anything that can be done about it? Or is one faced with simply accepting the reality that has been presented to them? How can we relate these concepts to what is going on in our world at present? And what can our response be when faced with an escalation of draconian measures? This line of questioning will be buffered with a passage from one of Manly P. Hall's expositions. Every man has his own world. He dwells in the midst of his little universe as the lord and ruler of the constituent parts of himself. Sometimes he is a wise king, devoting his life to the needs of his subjects, but more often he is a tyrant, imposing many forms of injustice upon his vassals, either through ignorance of their needs or thoughtlessness concerning the ultimate disaster that he is bringing upon himself. 